going on you guys? I'd like to wake you guys to another DC TV talk. It's your boy Big Dog here. And we have a new addition to the DC lineup. Uh, the weekly DC lineup. We got Doom Patrol. Just watch the pilot episode. This is a review basically. You pretty much know that. Yo, this was fire. Like, I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, after seeing the Doom Patrol episode in Titans. Which was really, really good. One of the better episodes of Titans. I thought, like, okay, this I'm, I'm into because me personally, I don't know much about the Doom Patrol. That it proceed. I mean, it, it goes beyond my comic knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I know I've never read any of the Doom Patrol comics. I know they're on the DC Universe streaming app, but I just haven't had the chance to like to sit down and read in it. So when I saw him in the Titans uh, uh, episode, I'm like, this dude seems cool. And then, after seeing this episode today, it's like, yeah, this is, like, really, really good. Uh, I haven't learned, granted, I haven't learned all the characters, human, like, regular names. But I pretty much know. This, this episode pretty much explores, like, it doesn't really touch on the Chief that much. But it, it, it mainly shows about a uh, Robot Man, Elastigirl, uh, uh, Negative Man, and Crazy Jane, who is one of my favorites simply because I love when people play multiple personalities in shows. Uh, that's why I like uh, 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 Wells and um, um, uh, uh, The Flash, um, uh, uh, James McAvoy and Split. Like it's just I like when people play multiple characters in in, in a show. Well, as they being one used to being one person, but then I guess flip flop through a bunch of other different characters and I, I enjoy that. But this episode shows like how everyone everyone in the Doom Patrol came to be and is narrated by uh Mr. Nobody, which is like also like just super fucking dope. And his character design, I saw one I literally literally saw one image of his character in, from the comics. And when I saw it on the when I saw it on this episode, I was like, yo, that is way doper than what I saw in the comic. Like, it is, like, the fact that, like, some of his body is just basically hovering and, like, the only part of his face you actually, I mean, only part of his body, really, that you actually see, it's, like, two or three pieces of his face. That's dope. And, and the fact, like, this is it's just a show about these outcast losers uh, 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 who are not accepted into the uh, into the world and the world has also forgot about them they were major parts of the world or well, not major but they were big parts of the world and then they completely fell out the fell out the face of the earth and and, and like the whole storyline with, 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 with robot man i knew his daughter was not dead i knew she wasn't dead in my, in my mind i'm thinking to myself I'm like this wife dead that, that shit gone but i know i knew his daughter was not gonna be dead and i knew that she was holding that from me. Kind of predictable, but at the same time, it's kind of what I wanted to happen. I wouldn't want it to be the the any other way. Uh, negative man. I, I heard about uh, this whole, you know, he was gay back then. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, couldn't just be gay and, and everybody would be cool with it. But So <laughs> I knew that much. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw him going out and I saw the dude trying to going to save him i didn't know when he landed that he actually got back up i didn't know nothing about that you know what i'm saying and actually i see the burn marks is that's why he wears like the mummy outfit last girl we pretty much got all of her whole stuff i wonder my whole thing with her though is she gonna be able to control it or is it just gonna be a lot of blob stuff you know what i'm saying that's that's one thing i'm it's not that i'm worried about it, it's just i'm wondering you know what i'm saying also it's like how does can she take damage and stuff like that because and also, Crazy Jane has 64 different personalities. I want to see all 64. Give me all of them. When she was switching back and forth with, like, uh, 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 I think it was Hammerhead. Like, Hammerhead, like, with the shits. And, like, you never necessarily know who it is. It, because, like, I, I, I kind of felt like when she was doing the paint, it was her, it was Jane, and then it switched to somebody else. Like you, I just you just really never know, and it's like like it has like a little thing that it does where like it it like the, it gets blurry, and then you see that the change. I I enjoy I enjoyed this entire episode front to back. I like the uh the, the hour long runtime. I enjoy stuff like this. I like I like the way that it's narrated by Mister Nobody to let you know this it's a self aware show. 
that know is a comic book show that knows it's in a comic book. I uh, understand this is how the Grant Morrison run was, where like he, it was literally a, a a time where someone interacts with Grant more like in the comic a uh, character interacts with Grant Morrison because they don't like what he did in in the story that they're in, so he had to go back and write those. So uh, I, I'm gonna have to check out that run. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the hell out of this episode. I thought it was really really good, strong start to this show and I'm I'm excited to watch this every single week. I was up all, I was up to like five last night thinking it was gonna drop last night. But unfortunately it dropped at like seven this morning. I don't know why DC on launched these, launch these things earlier. Cause people be up late at night ready for them to drop. Like, come on now. Come on now DC. And I need to give me my shit at three, four in the morning like everybody else. When I when I say when you give me a date the February fifteenth, soon as the clock strike twelve it's supposed to be on there but I can settle for like three or four, not seven in the morning. Come on now. But uh, overall, I enjoyed Like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of this. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about what was your favorite part of the episode. Who's probably going to be your favorite character? And I can't wait to see Cyborg. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys later for more DC TV talking other stuff. So, peace.